Hi, chat. Welcome to another stream. How y'all doing today? Uh, it's Monday, the what? The 23rd of, of May. God damn, it's already May. <laughs> of 2022, and we're back for yet another stream. Oh, I've had a really, really long day, so <laughs> hopefully. We'll go stream. Hopefully, stream goes better than, than my day has gone so far. Um, but we're here. We're, we're going to do some stuff. Uh, the plan for today's stream is to build Python 3.12 for Dead Snakes Nightlies. Um, because uh, <laughs> as 3.11 has reached beta and so there's a new primary branch for 3.12 so we're going to get that going just so I don't have to think about it although realistically it just means I'm going to have to rebuild stuff <laughs> more often but uh, we're going we're gonna to set that up I don't remember how to set it up because it's been a year since we did it last time and I'm pretty sure last time we did it I also didn't know what I was doing and just kind of um fumbled my way through it so we'll do that today it should be pretty fun uh i don't think it's going to take the whole time uh i don't know what else we'll do though <laughs> so i'm sure we'll find something right um but yeah that's that's the plan for today let me say hi to everyone who is here and then we can jump into stuff uh jjmc was first today hello hello good to see you again bell dothis welcome back tofu fufu almost first yeah you were very close stogfish it's mundu what like monday but Okay. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Ali, good to see you again. Dutra.py. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Oh, there. You forget the title? Yeah, I forgot the stream title. So I had to update it after the fact, which means the notification that goes out is going to have the wrong thing, but whatever. Wouldn't be the worst thing that's happened today. <laughs> Crow is also here. Hello. Hello. And Rise Main, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Aaron, good to see you. Yoda Droid, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, 3.12 is only in dev? Yeah, it's only in dev. I wasn't aware you packaged dev versions for dev things. Yep, uh, so I will, I do two types of packaging for in development versions. Um, first off, I package any tagged version. Whoa, arrow bounce. Good to see you again. Thank you for the resub. You got it today. <laughs> Thank you for your continued support. It's good to see you again at seven months. Welcome back. Um, but yeah, I package I package in development versions in two ways. One of them is tagged versions, which will show up in the normal Dead Snakes repo. And then I also package the nightly versions. Nightly. Nightly. Uh, and those will show up in the nightly PPA. And they're a little bit different. These ones are set up with GitHub Actions. There's like a whole bunch of permissions and other stuff to, to make those work there. And yeah, I package... I package nightly stuff as well. Montoya, hello, hello, welcome back. Back to work, have fun streaming. Well, hello, goodbye. It's always good to see you. Appreciate your support. Uh, Glauber Balsani, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be setting up 312 nightly today. I don't remember how to do it, so we will be figuring it out as we go along. I know at a minimum I need to set up teams and I need to create the repo. There's like special permissions for it. Um, also, if somebody wants to design an icon for Dead Snakes, that would be kind of chill. <laughs> I don't have one right now, but I don't know. It would be uh, it would be kind of cool. No pressure. No one needs to do that. I don't even know why I said it. Never mind. Ignore me. Uh, Alvar LV, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. 312 and public and create dead snacks indeed 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 uh teams nightly as one member how to work repositories oh we can uh uh how do we remove we can remove these why are there two forks Why? Why would you possibly fork this repo? One commit ahead. Create build.yml. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Why? <laughs> 
Why would they fork my package? I don't know why I do that. S1 Cube, how are you doing? Good to see you again. Welcome back. Thank you for your 13 months of septum. It's been a while. Wait, no, you were here on Saturday. It was a, it was a while before that. Wait, they also archived their repo. No, this is me archiving it. Why did they do this? I feel like they don't know what they were doing. Anyway. What are these forks? I'm getting distracted. There's no reason for me to look at these. Five commits behind. What about the other branches? I assume it would just tell me if something's ahead or behind. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't know why they would do that. Uh, but we can delete these. Remove guys. And then we can add the 3.12. I don't know why it didn't match. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just because I don't really trust it. We're fine. That's fine. I didn't do that. <laughs> Did you get your pre-commit CI PRs, DDoS? Thank you for the bits. How's it going? Well, welcome back. Marsden is also here. Hello, hello. Uh, we need to give you right permission. Okay. And actually, I think 3.9 is security only, right? Uh, release schedule. Oh, oh wait, did you, did you get it from Dependabot? Oh, not, not frequency I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> scam train. Oh yeah, you guys have triggered. I have triggered the scam train. Where is? Oh, we need to do this. We didn't even do this. <sighs> so we have other work to do. I forgot about this. Yeah, three nine thirteen is out, which I believe is the last bug fix. Sometime after three ten final. Wait, this feels right, not right. Yeah, this was, <laughs> this sentence is just like wrong. Sometime after, I guess uh, literally a year. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, so we need to do that as well. Let's do that first since that's the easiest thing to do. <laughs> then we'll, uh... then we'll... Then we'll do 3.12. Oh, from Brigman CI? Okay, cool. Nice. I haven't gotten mine yet. Well, I got two of them. But not much updated for me today. Uh, what, what was your updates, DDoS? Because um, I only... I only had... Uh, dead? Wait, you're using dead as a Brigman hook? Oh. I didn't even know Dad had had a Brigman hook. I guess I sort of remember that. Oh, okay. Well, is that number correct? I guess it is. What did I change here? Oh, I dropped Python 3.7. Guess what it was. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, Import upstream 3.9.13. What a big number. And I'm just going to push these. I don't think it's going to really matter. I don't need to use it, but I set them up and just don't think about them now. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. If it works, it works. <laughs> Send it, right? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, so I recorded a couple of videos yesterday. Uh, well, <laughs> I added together a highlight from yesterday's or from Saturday's stream for Wednesday's video, which is, I don't know, a little bit lower quality content than I usually make, but I think people will like what I said? I don't know. Quan HH! Thank you for the resub at 13 months! Holy shit! Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Appreciate your continued support. Summersoft is also here. Hello, hello. And X! Welcome back. Uh, planning jump from 3.6 to 3.10 in our product. That shouldn't be too bad. There's not too much. Uh, is collections ABC 3.11? What is that 3.10? I think that's the only annoying one, right? Uh, mapping. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's going to be a pain in the ass if you have dependencies that you can't control. Uh, but I think that's the only, like, painful thing. Or, I mean, I'm sure there's something, but... That's that's the main thing that I remember from 310 being like, oh, what the fuck is going on here? What is... ZGZ? What is ZGZ? ZGZ. Christine Tar. ZGZ 2010.06.13 based on NetBSD GZIP 2006.09.27. What? What have I stumbled upon? There's some false positive woods dead because the library has capabilities that I, one, don't test because I'm a bad developer, and two, there's some magic afoot. Yeah. Yeah, dead doesn't know about, like, inheritance bullshit and, um, and, like, decorator side effects and uh other other things like that but it's dead simple so <laughs> that's why it doesn't have those things uh anyway looks like you've stepped into a portal in the past yeah it's it's pretty wild right uh i'm i'm gonna not bother i'm gonna assume that these build and if they fail they'll send me an email well, i'm pretty sure these are it's it's so far into bug fix mode that I doubt they would change any of the build stuff for ABI. Since when do emotes fly across the screen? Oh shit, did I forget to turn that off? Oh, I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, that's not supposed to be on. <laughs> But it does look pretty funny when you do uh, this. <laughs> uh, so this is my like serverless, serverless. Um, all right, let, let me let me make it bigger. Uh, this is my serverless, serverless overlay thing. Uh, let's make it twelve hundred by. So now if you, uh, now they fly around a little bit more. <laughs> um, but Streamlabs has, has a, um, has a thing that's like this, but theirs doesn't support animated emotes. So I was trying to make a thing, um, where I could have it support animated emotes. And the really cool thing about this overlay is there is no server involved. Uh, it is just a data URL. You just plop a data URL in an OBS scene, and it just works. Uh, it connects to Twitch, and then handles it all yourself, which is pretty cool. Uh, I showed the I, I demoed the code a little bit on stream. Um, last stream, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Um, but I'm I'm hoping to actually like make this a actual product because I I feel like this this is kind of like. Why the fuck would anyone use Streamlabs when you can literally do this without any uh, without any servers? It's just like it's just a URL. Uh, where's the branch? Um, but basically, the way this works, it's a single HTML file, it has a little bit of CSS in it. Uh, there's a script with a so there's a there's a form. Where's the form? <clears throat> Uh, oh yeah, there's a form here. You fill out your username, your OAuth token, and whatever channel you want it to, to look at. And you click at a button, and it will grab that information, put some hidden elements on the page, create a uh, data URL, and then spit it out to the browser. And then at runtime, uh, it connects to the Twitch WebSocket, and um, yeah, just, just kind of works. Um, I'll probably turn it off, but <laughs> I totally forgot it was on. Um, but it, it's, yeah, it's basically just a data URL and does all the stuff on the fly, which is uh, pretty neato. <laughs> You're the conductor. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, all right, use, use the overlay while it's here and then I'll remove it. If you guys want to play around with it, now's the time. Oops. I just spilled water all over myself. 
You want to put some more headbanging bees in there, Tofu Poo? Um, hey, what's up, Elvenrod? Hello, hello. Refresh Ubuntu Focal. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Arclight Sonic? And Cassie Dev. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Runbooks release. Wait, did that one work? I didn't see those. Did I miss it? Was I too slow in noticing the emotes? Or did it just not work? Is it broken? Like, fuck. Oh, it worked. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, silly little piece of tech. It does work, though. So that was that was the other thing. I also think that my whole complicated overlay setup I could do in the same way, which would be also pretty cool. Um, but yeah, anyway. One to Bionic. And we will release that one as well. Why is there bongo in my code? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's my little overlay. But we'll we'll get we'll all right. We're removing it now. It had it had its uh it had its fun in the sun. Uh remove there's button. Bye. Um <clears throat> The only thing left to do is automate the sub follow bits notifications. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> this is planned. I guess I didn't do that enough research. Um, we're going to be doing that for the Azure stream. And then throwing away all the code that we write. Because <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it serverless or, or clientless. Um, or client serverless uh, with extended capabilities in the in the chat stuff. Yeah, well, well, oh, oh, fuck. So we'll try and we'll try and set that up. Uh, cool, Ethan. Oh, 33 months. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. How you doing? Did you turn your VPN off? You haven't talked in chat. <laughs> Assume your VPN's off. Well, there you go. Hello, hello. Does that use the Twitch Pub Sub API? Yeah, that's what we're gonna try and use for the... That's what we're gonna try and use for the Azure stream is the Pub Sub API. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I can do it entirely without the Pub Sub API. Because there's a extended, extended capabilities thing for, um, for the RZ protocol. Just got out of my Sentry interview, yo. How'd it go? What'd you think? That'd be cool to work with Ethan. Um. Okay, don't bionic. Uh. Da, 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 Three twelve. Also, I will pay attention. Oops. All right. Let's see how I set this up before. <laughs> Uh, day team, hello, hello. Good to see you again. I think it went well. Met Steve from Growth, who seemed nice. There are actually several Steves. I think I know who you met, though. So that's cool. Uh, I'm not 100% certain, though. <laughs> I believe there are multiple Steves. The fact that there are multiple Armins is just, like, <laughs> also incredibly confusing. When will you meet Anthonk? I've met Ethan in real life already. Um, at one of the, actually two typing meetups, I want to say. I don't think Ethan knew who I was and, oh yeah, yeah, I know who that is then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know that Ethan knew who I was or I know who Ethan was, but. Uh, actually, I, I knew I knew Ethan from like, uh, the OCF chat, kind of. Um, but you gave a talk on like MyPy, MyPy typing for NumPy, like way before it was 
even close to being uh, functional. Way back when. I don't want to dox him. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> okay. R syncable archive. I don't even know what that means. Uh, I remember you from the typing meetings. Meetups is like two or three. Nice. Cool. Well, I remember you from those too. So it's mutual. Uh, all right. Python 3.12 nightly get. Commit allow empty, empty initial commit, get branch dash main. And then we gotta figure out how everything else gets set up. Uh, I think the way it works is I, oh, I don't remember. I don't remember at all. Uh, <laughs> let's see if there's a hint in the history of this. Uh, there's only five commits here. This is probably just adding the GitHub action. Okay, that's not so bad. And the reamd. When you reamd, you get an action. That's what lives in main. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. GitHub to here. And nope. Reamd to here. Git grab 3.11. So then we fix this. Ah, shit, I did the wrong thing. <clears throat> 11 with 12. Is that really it? Oh, and we are on main. That'll be slightly different than the other ones, but hopefully not a problem. Okay. And then 11 with 12. Yes, yes, yes. What branches do we have here? We have Bionic, Focal, Jamming, and Upstream. Okay, so we want to have Upstream, which appears to just be exactly C Python, so that's easy. Uh, I think you said my name at one. I didn't know who you were at first. I can't believe we're already on 312. Feels like three sixes a year ago. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I satisfied says, I feel like now every time I stop by, you are doing Dead Snake stuff and I miss all the cool WebSocket stuff. Yeah. Well, I'll be shop on Saturday. I might, we might do some more of that later in this stream. Um, because I don't think this is going to take the whole stream. <laughs> I think this is literally going to be like... <laughs> Eh, we work on this for 15 minutes and then it's done. I just have to remember how all this works. Actually, did I leave myself notes? It's possible that I was smart and left myself notes. <laughs> oh, view as public. Oh, that's kind of nifty. How does this work? You are viewing this page as a public user. But does it just not work? Okay. <laughs> it just doesn't work. <laughs> All right. Cool feature, GitHub. Uh, I got excited for a second, but nope, it does not do anything. And Dexter says, I remember just starting my switch from to Python 3 on Python 3.2-ish. Hmm. I remember 3.2 being fucking garbage. And so we skipped it. <laughs> because, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, I didn't leave notes on this. Uh, maybe we'll write notes this time. Because uh, 3.2 prevented the u prefix on strings, and so it was just like a huge pain in the ass to uh, get things working. Uh, there's a timing meet at Wednesday at 10 a.m. Ooh. ah, have another, I have another application. No. That would have been cool. Well, bummer. I'll have to, I'll have to get the next one. <laughs> 
<laughs> I seem to always have conflicts. Montaya says, what's dead snakes? Thank you, Ethan, for the command. Panoxer says, I didn't even know how to pip install stuff back then. I'm downloading the TarGZ directly and extracting the root folder. <laughs> and spent the rest of the day cursing and crying. <laughs> yeah, that, uh... That sounds about accurate. Um... Wait, what's new version? Oh, this is when it gets to alpha one. Okay, I don't know that. New nightly bump marker down. New nightly. Uh, create repository. Add the Ed Dead Snakes issues bot to nightly team. Uh, copy readme.md slash github uh, from previous nightly just the version in the in both uh, what next um Nightly pull upstream. Positional arguments file name. Oh, you know. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Repo version. Can I just run that? What do you do? If there is no C Python root, it adds it. Then it fetches it. Tries the version and then it tries main. Then we delete all of our tags. I don't think we want to do this. Because this will create a dead snakes tag, which we don't need yet. I'm not going to do that. Fireball Monkey, did I say hi to you? If not, hello, hello. Good to see you. It's Woodlang says, hey, Anthony, how do you manage your job and streaming? I don't know. I just do it. <laughs> Why are they all position one? So this is a nice little pro tip about Markdown, which uh, if you're unfamiliar with this, you should maybe check out my uh, Markdown video, which has other tips similar to this. Uh, but the cool thing about Markdown is if you number them all one, they get auto numbered. And so that means if you were to enter some other step in the middle of it, you don't have to go through and be like, oh, uh, fuck, I got to... Uh, Go through and renumber all this, and you don't have to change all the all the um, the text there. So if you use just ones for all of them, it auto numbers, which is pretty nice. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I am um, in theory going to be streaming some of my work soon too, which will be pretty cool. Uh, Dino says interesting. So the user notice stuff is what you'd be looking at. I'm a little curious how that works, but I assume you currently only look for private message on your bot. So it's likely you're already getting everything as it is now. So I have not enabled the capability to get user notices. Um, but yes, that is how I would, that is how I would do it entirely without needing a server. Uh, but we're not going to do it that way for the Azure stream. We're going to set up PubSub and try and get that working. Uh, just because I want to have some non-trivial server components. But yes, you're right. I can just connect over IRC and get the user notices. Which is, uh, yeah, which is going to make all my overlay stuff stupid simple. Which is exciting. Uh, he works, then he stops working, then he streams. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Uh, except when you want to say repeat steps X through X. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah. Webs. Ambivalent Bunny says, this looks like programming now. It is indeed. Welcome back. Good to see you. Ambivalent Bunny also... Oh, I'm, blah, 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 blah. Ambivalent Bunny also streams. So you should check them out. Uh, I don't see anywhere where you can enable those in their documentation for some reason. Uh, which chat caps rack? I'm pretty sure... Or it's cap rack. Uh, caps rack. 
Biggest one. So normally, uh, like I have this one enabled. Oh wait, where's the other one? Request Twitch specific command messages and the following. Wait, where's the user notice ones? I'm not requesting this one, so I think user notice comes from that. I also don't remember. Uh, Twitch chat command. Uh, oh wait, you can make your you can allow your bot to ban. <laughs> I should probably not do that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's the here's the user notice. Yeah. Yeah, so you would set up the cap rec for commands, and that would work. I'll be looking, trying to get my Wordle graphical user interface functional. Nice, nice. How's how's that going? Still, you work, still working on Kiwi? Kiwi, Kiwi? I don't even know if that's uh, <laughs> how you pronounce it. <laughs> that's how I pronounce it inside of my head. Manic motif. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Everyone gets banned instantly. Yeah, a Thanos command. Just boop. <laughs> Half the users of chat just instantly gone. I wouldn't do that. That'd be bad. That's actually one of the reasons why my bot is not a mod. Uh, because I didn't want to fuck up the permissions and <laughs> have it ban everybody. <clears throat> Montaya says, thanks, but I still don't get what it's for. It looks like a bunch of copies of Python source from past versions. Did you watch the video? Did it link a video? No, it didn't link a video. Uh Check out this video, Montias. Dead snakes. And uh, we will put this video into that command. And thank you for lurking. Inside a bee. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Uh, where's it, Abby? Is it Abby or is it a bee? What do you What do you want it to be? I will I will respect your wishes. Mom, plugins, simple dead snakes. Uh see also this, but we do not need long URL. Whoa. Dead snakes. And the YouTube video to uh shit. Dead snakes command. There we go. Oh man, so I merged a pull request for the chatbot. <laughs> uh I had checked everything out luckily to fix their branch. Um and I rebased it and squashed everything together. And then I went to push it. And their branch name was main, so it, it just, like, uh, didn't push. <laughs> so, anyway, I ended up with a bunch of commits on the main branch, which, whatever. It's not what I intended, but it ended up that way. Bang, ban me. Oh, no. Abby, okay, cool. Sounds good. Welcome, welcome. You can call me whatever you wish. Hmm. <laughs> now I almost want to just... <laughs> Come up with a ridiculous nickname, because it's whatever I wish. No, I'll just call you Abby. What is our chatbot going to do? Uh, it does all sorts of stuff already. Oh, we missed that one. Call Babby. Inside Babby? Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, that's too good, Pandoxer, but also, you happen to catch the bot while I was restarting it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Her, not him. Okay, we will respect your pronouns. Her. Abby. Cool. Welcome. Uh, adjust the version in both. What do we need to do next? We need to pull the upstream branch. We need to put it in place, which we can do with this uh, get remote add c python get get a python c python uh, 
Create the upstream branch with several steps, and then we need to we need to do that. And then we need to fetch the branch into place with this git fetch c python refs heads main colon refs heads upstream. Think that is the right command? I think it's working. <clears throat> the ability to change people's names locally is still a strange fear to me in Twitch chat. Wait, you can do that? How do you do it? I only have block and report. How do I change your name? I don't think it lets me do it. I don't know how to, or I don't know how to do it. Click the name and then click the edit pencil. No laveo. <laughs> or be or be edit pencil. You can't change your own? I'm trying to change yours. Or Abby's. Where's the edit pencil? Maybe my screen's too small? No? Drugs! Drugs! Well, there was an attempt. Oh, we don't want all these tags, do we? Maybe we do? Uh, but we don't have a 312 tag. Okay, so I think the next step is to create the v3 dot whatever dot zero alpha zero tag. We gotta figure out what the revision is for that. Uh, which I should have done earlier before this happened, but I go back a couple of weeks. Isn't it around here, the 17th? No? Ah, uh, shit. When did it happen? I don't remember. I swear I'm not lying. No, I trust you. I just I can't find the feature in mine. Oh, they didn't list when the alpha went up. Uh, three, it's not listed here. May 8th. Whoa, we gotta go way back. Okay. You have to be in normal chat, not mod chat? I'm not in I'm not in mod chat. But I'm in pop out chat. Maybe that's why. May 8th. So somewhere in here there should be a commit that uh <laughs> I'm not the only one that says C Phyton. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Okay, this is where we want to find this commit. So, git tag. I don't remember the syntax for this. Also, the number of times I've created tags named like dash dash help. <laughs> git tag delete tag name commit. Okay. We want v3.11.3.12.0 alpha 0 will be this commit. Okay. Uh, on the omnibus march. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, you photoshopped the image. <laughs> uh, Philip, hello, hello. Or not in your own chat? Oh, well, maybe I can't do it in my chat? Hmm. Hey, what's up, Sarcastic Dante? Hello, hello. Good to see you again. Yeah, I wonder... Let me see if I can do it in the in the channel chat. So click on a name. I don't see the pencil. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can't do it. Which seems silly. Like, wouldn't that... I feel like that's the most useful feature for me is to be able to rename people in my own chat. Might be the three dot menu. Three dot menu. This one? I just get report and block. 
Oh well. Such is life. I'm not... I don't care. I don't care that I don't have a feature. Uh, okay, we need to also set up the other branches. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works at all. Rename people to banned from stream? <laughs> Everybody's banned. Let's see what I did in the other one. Uh, dead snakes, python3.11, nightly. Origin Ubuntu Focal author is me. Oh, but that's gonna have my Dead Snakes ones. This will get just just me me. Me 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 me. Uh but also it has me from GitHub. Oh, this is gonna uh, 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 these are all my commits to Python, BT dubs. Um, where's the not Python changes that I made? <laughs> uh. Here we go. Copy and copy Debian directory from Python 3.10 nightly. What is this commit based on? Okay, it's based on CPython. Okay, that's easy. Just copy everything and then replace the version number. Is it that simple? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Here we go. Uh, wait. 3.9 to 3.10, and then refresh patches. Then I made a release? Why did I do this? I don't know. Hopefully I don't need to do that. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad though. Uh, create each branch. Uh, get checkout v3 dot. Uh, well, we can probably just do get checkout upstream dash b ubuntu jammy, and then pp dash r uh, python three point eleven or three point whatever. Libyan to dot, uh, get add Libyan. Uh, import Debian from previous version. Uh, place out the version with the new version. Uh, and refresh patches. Ooh, that'll work. Anthon, check this out. <laughs> oh. I like it. Wait, what are the lightning bolts? What are the lightning bolts? I like it though. Those are some pretty dead snacks. I'd add the get tag command as well, so you don't have to check dash dash help in the future. Uh, I mean, I only do this once a year, so I can just read it. They're just torn. Is it because they're dead? I see. But it looks like a lightning bolt, because it got this little nub, little nub here. <laughs> If you get rid of the nub, I think it would look better. Get rid of the nub and I'll I'll make it the icon. <laughs> That's because I'm lazy. <laughs> but if, if you if you get rid of the nub, I'll I'll make it the icon. Because I like it. I like it a lot. 
Serpentine Studios. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Fireball Monkey says, great video. Learned a few things. Cool. Video was helpful. <laughs> you guys both finished it at the same time. That's funny. <laughs> it was helpful. I always install Python by Conda, so not something I would use, but I see how I others would use it. I see. Hey, what's up, silly buttons? Thank you for the bits. Hello, hello. And Serpentine Studios. Welcome, welcome. I said hi to you twice, because you followed and chatted. You get the double. Uh, okay. The eyes are band-aids? Hmm. I mean, they could be, they could be pasties, so. Uh, I'm afraid to be the one to tell you this, but your keyboard is split in half. Oh my god. How could this happen to me? My poor keyboard. It got split in half. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck, I'm actually crying. No. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Shit. Uh. <laughs> now that you lift it up, it seems kind of heavy. Uh, yeah, it's a little heavy. Quick man. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Ergo hero for the win. Nice. The current dead snakes icon of two faceless humanoids could use an update. I mean, it, it's just a default icon at the moment. Uh, you look over smart like you can code with both hands. <laughs> Never mind. We're not gonna go there. Um. <laughs> no wife and kids. Broken keyboard. Oh my god. Okay. So. Uh. I guess we can talk about the disasters of my day today. We'll, we'll just, we'll just, we'll TLDR those. So, uh, I'm buying a house right now. And part of buying a house is you get, as, as the buyer, you get an inspection on the house to make sure that you're actually buying what you want to be buying and not something that's broken and problems and all sorts of other things. Hey, what's a bit wise? Hello, hello. Um... And so we ordered an inspe inspection. The inspection guy was amazing. He was he was really great. He was very thorough. He found so many problems. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna have some negotiating to do, basically, which is gonna gonna suck. But we'll see. Uh, but anyway, during the inspection. It's it's usual that the current homeowner leaves and doesn't doesn't stand over your shoulder and watch the whole time. Uh, but about halfway through our inspection, the homeowner shows up, and everyone's like, "You're not supposed to be here. Why are you here?" But no one said it out loud. It was just like in hushed whispers and glances back and forth, like, "What are you doing here, my dude?" And um. The guy just like has no social boundaries whatsoever. Like I thought I was awkward. I had no social boundaries. Um, so he starts like trying to make small talk, but it's like deeply personal questions. Like, um, well, and first off, <laughs> first off, he assumed that I was like the realtor's son or something. And that she was buying the house because he started addressing her as the buyer. And I was like, no, it's me. I'm buying the house. <laughs> you? You're buying the house? Yeah, yeah. I know I look like I'm like <laughs> not actually 30 years old, but I'm I'm 30 years old. Um and he's like, Oh, oh, you're the you're the buyer. Okay, cool. Where's your wife and kids? What? <laughs> you can't just ask somebody that. I know like, it's just me. This is a big house for one person. Yeah, no, it's it's just me. Uh, like, well then, what do you what do you do? <laughs> what is your stock portfolio like? And I'm like, mm, I, I computer programmer. That's it. And then I was like, I'm gonna go look at something that's over there, <laughs> and walk to the other side of the house, because <laughs> I just did not want to continue the conversation. Um, but he kept like hovering around the whole time and like the inspector is like, yeah, your elect your electric's fucked here. What? The electric's fucked? Oh, like my dude. <laughs> just, no, 
Stop. It's <laughs> not what you're supposed to do. Um. Yeah, so that went all right. A uh, bunch of stuff that needs to get fixed. Um, so I'm going to be trying to negotiate with that. Um, but then afterwards, I drove home, and my car dinged at me that I had a low tire. And I was like, ugh. Could more go wrong today? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and uh, sure enough, checked the tire. And it was... So it's supposed to be inflated to 36 PSI. And it was down to 20. I was like, that doesn't seem right. I filled it up. And I was like, oh, I wonder if it's just like... I haven't filled up the tire in a while. And, you know, it's air... Uh, what's what's the law? PV PVNRT? Uh, no, that's 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 the pressure volume one. What's the uh, inverse diffusion rate based on molarity of the or mal molality? I don't fucking know. Whatever it was, Inver inverse. Oh, it's based on molar mass. That's what it is. Anyway, air diffuses out of things, independent of whether it's inside or out. Uh, so I was like, oh, I'll just fill it up and see whether it's it's actually leaking or not. And so I filled it up to 36, and then 30 minutes later, I checked on it, and it was at 30. So it had lost 6 PSI in 30 minutes, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. All right, I got a flat. Um, and so I called up my car dealership, and they're like, yeah, you just bring it in, and we'll we'll fix it. Brought it in, and... Um, is it osmosis? There's a formula for it. Uh, diffusion rate inversely proportional to mass, right? Graham's law. This is what I was thinking of. Graham's law. This one. Anyway, so I had a nail in my tire. Uh, the the car dealership was like, yeah, you've only had it for a year, so we'll just we'll just give it to you for free. Cash it up, and now everything's good. But I lost like four hours of my day <laughs> doing adult things which bleh bleh he just says nothing like putting a stream on the background and it's story time <laughs> yep hey how's it going mr singh hello hello <clears throat> inside house tour yeah yeah at some point we'll do a house tour uh you got lucky lots of inspections missed stuff because inspectors are understaffed and overworked better to catch things before buying yeah for sure sounds german to me uh they were not german uh, I got a nice three ring binder of all my inspection information and a book on how to keep up with the maintenance for my inspector. Yeah, that's basically uh, that's basically what this guy is going to give me, although he's doing it all digitally, which is also really nice. Uh, but he like showed like a preview of it on his phone and like had like all of these notes written up and photos of everything, arrows pointing at stuff, like here's how much this is probably going to cost. Like there was this guy was great. Um he sounds like me. Oh no. Hey, what's up, Kyle Marku? Hello, hello. I'm curious about people in general, so I always ask, uh, if you have a girlfriend, why not? Married, why not? Please marry my friend, she's hot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think those are okay questions to ask in, like, polite company, but in a buyer-seller relationship, and it's the first time I've ever met them, and you just fucked up that I'm the buyer, like, maybe leave it to normal pleasantries rather than than deeply personal questions. But anyway. Bitwise says, congrats on the house. I'm 30 and also just bought my first house. Interest rates are on the rise. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about interest rates. <laughs> Current homeowner clear, clearly planted the nail behind your tire so you get a flat. I don't think so. It probably was long before that, but yeah. I uh, asked the classic, are you looking for a partner question? <laughs> yeah well and then he like went to he started like bragging about his sons and stuff and i'm like dude i don't care <laughs> oh one of them lives in manhattan all right cool fine yeah i lived in san francisco like i can i can pay expensive rents like who gives a shit <laughs> but anyway uh initial inch initial Initial commit. And I owe you some Vim, silly buttons. I did see that. Okay, so we did this. Create the upstream branch. We also did that, but out of order, I think. Hit branch. Okay, yeah. Uh, and we've got level zero. Not to be confused with the chess engine. Uh, create each branch. Get check out upstream dash b ubuntu jammy. Okay. 
dp-r python 3.11 nightly debian debian uh check out ubuntu jam <clears throat> Debian to dot. <laughs> if only it's just a big brother on <laughs> yeah. Uh, get a Debian import Debian from previous version. Cool. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, um. What do you mean new file? Why did it open a, what? Oh, it's not UTF-8, I see. I missed the error at the bottom. Oh, we just won't touch that file then. Uh, we're gonna leave this change log. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I shouldn't actually change this file. Uh, uh -huh. We should change this file though. 3.12. Oh, 3.13. Uh, okay, I don't care about this file either. We don't actually use it. I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, make dash f debian control uh, debian rules control file <clears throat> okay so that should have changed everything from 311 to 312 that looks good uh then do this French name Annie. please 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 uh, oh right What did I do? <laughs> uh, right, that script doesn't work. We have to refresh patches manually. Uh, but that seems fine. Okay, I think that worked. Uh, now we need to do it three more times. So we'll do focal next. Uh, add Debian commit, then rules file. You probably just cherry pick. Just cherry pick. Whoa, <laughs> look at all these sixes we got in a row. <laughs> Not superstitious at all. He just says, okay, I'm back. What have I stumbled into? That's true. Uh, need to remember to go get gas today since I have a dollar off that expires at the end of the day. Is that a thing? <laughs> Show off about being financially smart. <laughs> uh, okay, replace out the version. Let me do import and then export. GBP. Refresh patches. And then what else do we need to do? And then he is writing some code. He just bragged to 73 people live about the struggles of being a young homeowner. 
<laughs> Twitu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. It's not meant to be a humble brag. It's mostly just, well, I guess I'm privileged and complaining, so I should probably just shut the fuck up. Yeah. Is Bionic still in support? What number is Bionic? 1804? I don't think people will care if I don't package for it, right? Yeah, like, if I just stop, Bionic is good for another year. I mean, it's not really any more work to do it, so I might as well just do it, right? Uh, 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 Bionic? Uh, dash C, Bionics, Char, and Mit. Oh, oh yeah, we cherry picked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cherry pick, and then import, and then export. Okay, I think that's all we want to do. Oh, we need to get rid of the foo up here, <laughs> of course. <clears throat> I get it when I get groceries. It's only good for 30 days, but since I barely ever drive, it takes a while to kill a gas tank. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Don't want to care? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, I've broken these nightlies and, like, gotten emails in the middle of the night. They're like, can you fix this? <laughs> Will 312 release before Bionic End of Life? I don't think it will. Ubuntu Bionic End of Life is April 2023. No, it will not. It will not. So I shouldn't bother then. Good call. I will not bother with Ubuntu Bionic. Because it will be a pain in the ass to maintain Ubuntu Bionic. Good call. Uh, speaking of which, Bionicles were so sick when I was growing up. Oh, man. <laughs> Big J says, I heard 2204 does a madness every time you do, do uh, try to do absolutely anything. What do you mean? Because there's there's a... There's a... Blah, 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 blah. Snaps? Send Nude says, what is GBP PQ export? So GBP is a program called Git Build Package. And it is a tool for managing Debian packaging via Git. Uh, yeah. Abby says, what will our chatbot do? What do you want it to do? It can do anything. <laughs> Wait, does it have any smarts that respond for bot? Uh, do we have any bot ones? I think that would have been the fun one to try. No. Damn. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. You can make it do whatever you want. Very much less lightning bolty. Yes. 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 PDM. Thank you for the five gift subs. Appreciate that. Um. We're, we're, we don't we don't quite have the the button down shirt today, so you're just you're just gonna have to deal. <laughs> But thank you for the gift subs, appreciate it. Uh, welcome to Subdom, Ab Ambivalent Bunny, Free and Open, Abby, Montoyas, and Backseat Advisor. Welcome, welcome. And appreciate the gift subs. Uh, yes, I like this. Am I allowed to use it? <laughs> Do I have express written consent? I have another button. <laughs> yeah, but we can't do that one without TOS details. <laughs> hey, what's up on Nightly? Hello, hello. Can can I use logo? I'm I'm asking express written consent. <laughs> uh Krater Hans, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. PDM says, no worries, thanks for your help with compiling my stuff. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm gonna work on your project after stream. Um Are you okay if I talk about it? <laughs> it's kind of a cool project. <laughs> Um, but I, I would understand if you're like, no, no, keep secret. Uh, wrong streaming platform, yeah. 
Uh, the icon has to be used if a PR breaks an animated stream. Yeah. After a big dinner, you can use the last button. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, this. Can I use this? I'm, I'm, it's going good. I'm in bed. Nice, nice. You must be in Europe, I guess. I'm not gonna have trouble since I use the official Python logo. Well, if if it ends up being a problem, I'll deal with it. You won't have to worry about it. Settings, new profile photo. I feel like this is risky click. I don't know what's on my desktop. <laughs> oh no, it would have been fine. We're fine. Uh, dead snacks. <laughs> I like how I have goddamn it twitter.mp4. <laughs> about five miles from London. Nice, nice. Sure you can talk about it? Cool. Um, so. Oh no. Is it slightly cut off? I think it's slightly cut off. Uh, that's probably fine. I don't think it actually renders a circle. Yeah, because it's an org. Hello? Did I not click save? Did I need to click save? No, it's probably just caches. Uh, but anyway, PDM uh, actually reached out to me a long time ago. And we actually did the other one on stream. Uh, to build Python 3 for Ubuntu 804. <laughs> Extreme, extremely old Ubuntu. And uh, we got that working. Um, but PDM came to me with a even tougher challenge, which is to get any sort of reasonably modern Python working on, I don't even know how to describe the, the Unix <laughs> that we're targeting. It's like, uh, what is it called? Uh, it has some name that I don't remember, but it's a really, really old Unix version. Uh, Uh, SCO Open Server 507, <laughs> which uh, was released in, I don't even know when it was released, an extremely long time ago. Open Server 5 was released in 1995. So basically a couple decades ago. <laughs> um, but I managed to get Python 2.7.6 building, and later today I'm going to try and get 2.7.16 building. Uh, reckon 99? Yeah, that sounds about right. Backseat Advisor, thank you for the gift sub to zero, Dan one. Appreciate that. Um, but yeah, it's been a struggle. <laughs> I have I've had to patch python in ways that allow so basically i need like a handful of models for what pdm wants and uh i've been <laughs> i've been slowly getting more and more modules supported um by basically tricking the c compiler to build them <laughs> uh because python 2.7 was never designed to run on such a uh, old piece of hardware um and like the GCC version that I was doing with was like 296, which is super old. Uh, but it's been really fun. It's it's I don't know, one of the one of the most fun projects I've done in, in quite a while. But yeah. Um indeed. ESF sues dead snakes. I mean I'll just change it if somebody tells me to, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Um <clears throat> until you says I leave the stream, someone gives me sub. Indeed, indeed. Welcome back. <laughs> Rick Time says my visa got declined. Oh no. Again? Abby says, does someone have 20k points? I'm pretty sure a lot of people have 20k points. Are you trying to get someone to switch my keyboard? <clears throat> Backseat Advisor, your first chat in the channel, but you've had two, two subs so far. Cool, welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, yes, I can see it. Now I can say that I've contributed to an important project. It's true, it's true. Do you have a Twitter so that I can be like, why is it not? There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Uh, Macedophum and Backseat Advisor, thank you both for the follow. Welcome, welcome. 33 years ago? <laughs> no, it's 23 years ago, surely. The original release is 33 years ago, yeah. 
I see it's used by Taco Bell and know it's golden. <laughs> yeah, right, pet food guy. Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I can't buy a stem for myself, sadly. Weird. Uh, interesting. Cool. Well, thank you for the gift subs. I appreciate it either way. Um, all right. So, uh, da, 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 da. yeah. Uh, every time I try it, it goes to my bank for authorization failed. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's wild. Which sucks. <laughs> I say while streaming on Twitch. Uh, all right. So I think now that we've set up all these branches, uh, I got to push these in the right order. Actually, I don't think I need to push them in the right order. Oh, well, maybe I do. Yeah, because I don't want GitHub Actions to run. How is this supposed to work? <laughs> maybe I'll just push them all. Uh, get tag. Let's delete non alpha zero tags. Pretty sure I'm supposed to do that. Hey, Backseat Advisor has gifted a sub to PDM. <laughs> now you got a sub. <laughs> Uh, I've got about 50 customers with that old system and another 30 on Ubuntu 804. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's cool, though. Aquaramus, <clears throat> uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Connor Marker says, got to go and do an interview. See you later, nerds. Well, thank you for stopping by. Good to see you. Uh, no worries. Go to PyData instead. This year should be uh, so cool. PyData wins. I don't think I've ever been to Pi Data. What's 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 Pi Data about? Oh, your visa for PyCon. Oh. Oh. Uh, rep dash V Alpha Zero. That's Yeah. Uh XRGs get tag dash D. And this one <laughs> we'll do separately. Okay, so we will put this in our documentation. Yep. Uh, three twelve, right? I simply too good. Three eleven's not even out. What are we doing with three <laughs> twelve? I like me for data scientists, though. R and Julia people come to. Ooh, cool. Uh, I'm not a Python developer, but I have to use it for work. <laughs> well, that's how I started in Python. Um, darn, you have to use it. What a what a painful situation. Oh, I think I know what I can do. Uh, I can push this to main. And then I can push everything else. So this will establish the default branch. The destination you provided is not a full ref name. Uh, refs, refs heads main? Okay, that should have pushed the empty commit. And then we can push all the other branches. Hit push. Origin, we bent to focal, bent to jammy, and upstream, and the tag. That's going to take a while. Push all the things. <clears throat> Every customers do. Yeah, I'd be interested in that. <laughs> uh. Do you remember when USB-C first came out and we had to rely on that one Google guy to test USB cables to make sure they didn't destroy our devices? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hostile workplace. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Mostly they have older IBM Informix-based business systems. Business basic or progress 4GL. Cool. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Imagine using an indent-oriented language, Sag. Yeah. Right? Stupid Python. Progress is like COBOL. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm, I... I've got to imagine there's a lot of really fucking old software. 
that is still in heavy use. Um, but yeah, thank you again for the logo, Meldathis. Appreciate it. We now we now have Dead Snacks logo, uh, which is pretty 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 nifty, pretty neato. I'm a fan. <laughs> Every time I think I'm a fan, I just feel like sticking my arms out and spinning around in a circle, you know? <laughs> but if you're a big fan, like somehow you hold you hold like sticks on the end of your arms and spin around in circles. Uh but I'm brain broken, so so Oh shit. Why didn't I push oh we need to push main now. Can't push origin head. And that should trigger the first build. And hopefully it'll all work. Find out in the next episode. Oh, we can do a channel point bet though. Prediction. Uh start prediction. Oh god, they changed it. Uh will Yeah, sure, will the builds succeed, and we've got a yes or no. All right, you can gamble your channel points, chat. Good luck. Uh, it's based on COBOL. Syntax is very similar, but I don't know what Fortran looks like. Actually, COBOL developers in the States get paid loads now. There's a big shortage of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dad jokes with Anthonk. Yep. 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 <clears throat> How old are you? Old enough to remember a simpler time. <sighs> yeah. Yep. Um. Oh, we haven't tested something in the chat, but I expect it to work. Uh. But I don't know if the prediction badges work. I'm pretty sure they do. There's no reason they shouldn't work. But... Can somebody who's predicted... Type in the chat. Uh. 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 <laughs> well, we have a bug. Runtime error. Deck mutated mutated during iteration. I know what it means. It means that my code's not async safe, which I thought the entire point of async IO was like, that you didn't have to worry about these problems. Ah, it's because the coroutines share. Uh, there's like an async IO mutex, right? <sighs> Yeah. Async with lock. Yeah, we just need a lock. Easy enough. Hey, but we found a bug and we're going to fix it. Where is the deck? Uh... Uh, so we have to guard the deck. Um, what do we use from it? We iterate. I bet if we did this, it's not actually a problem. But we're going to do this the correct way. Append. So we need append and we need copy. Okay, that's not so bad. Um, guarded deck object uh, self dot deck equals collections dot deck. Uh, what size did we use? Max len twenty. Oh, 
I hate writing classes for this stupid thing. Uh, Self.lock equals asyncio.lock. Uh, def depends. Async with self dot lock turn tuple self dot deck. That should work. And then anywhere we see deck, we can just replace this with guarded deck. Uh, And then <sighs> that feels like a syntax error. <laughs> Probably is. Uh, uh wait. Syntax error? Function is missing a return type. Invalid lead annotation for deck. Oh. So, colon. Uh, did you try async deck? <laughs> I don't think there is one. There's async queue, but doesn't that a fourth batch, does it? No, there's more. So I could have made more gambling choices. So it's not just yes and no now. Uh, Dr. Jill says, removing from buffer while for message in buffer. What? Should have used roost? Yeah. Bug hunting time? Yeah. Use async IOQ? No, we need a bounded queue. Async IOQ is not, doesn't work. Async IQ, async IOQ is basically the same as QQ, which is not the queue that we want. Uh, Abby says, can I send you a new emote after stream? Sure. Uh... BDM says, gotta sleep. Well, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate the gift subs, and it's always always good to see you in chat. Uh, apparently, you can 4, four await. <laughs> this just looks dumb, though. Uh, this just looks dumb. This, this feels like you can't, you're not supposed to do that. Uh... That apparently it works. Uh, the good news is that we already have a bet outcome. Oh, god damn it, is it broken already? F fuck. 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 Input required and not supplied token. Well, <laughs> sorry, believers. Ah, <laughs> uh, you didn't really bet that many points anyway. Well, shit. Uh, add token to a repository. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Ugh, I think I need to log into my other GitHub account. Ah, I hate it. I I hate it. Uh. Okay, but um, can you guys send a bunch of messages in chat for me? I basically need to refresh this and make sure that we don't hit the same case as we hit before. Preferably with emotes too, I think needs to happen. Okay, I think this is working. All right, we're good. Thanks chat. Hey, what's up, Ace? Hello, hello. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. Cool. Perfect. See why to why. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sudden Panda? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Okay. 
So we need to add a GitHub token. Uh, streamer authorized spam feels good, man. So here's the thing, chat. I don't know if there's enough of you here today. Um, but oh, I show this on stream without. Uh, let me see if I can show this on stream without uh, giving away. Uh, Shinal analytics. Is it in here? No, it's in a sheet. So somehow this has not happened yet, which surprises me. We've never had 50 people in chat talk at once, which seems wild. Like, I wonder what it means by talking at once. Also, Ruslan Kostenko, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, add emote wall from OBS. No, I've got, I've got one better for you, Abby. The OBS one sucks because it doesn't do animated emotes. Um, The one, that one, that one sucks because no animated emotes. Let me show you what I've made. Uh, we had it set up earlier this stream. Um, so the way it works is if I put in my bot credentials, Anthony writes code, and I actually gotta look at my face while I copy my OAuth token. Uh, uh -huh. And then I gotta not show you the URL. <laughs> uh, how's this gonna work? <laughs> Everyone's talking. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Clifford <laughs> 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 guy says, I just like to listen, but I will chat for the bounty. A. Hey, there we go. Razor M, welcome. Jorhi, welcome to the stream. Uh, Calamity Mike, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so basically what happens here is, uh, I put my OAuth token in this box here, and when I click this button, it's going to generate a data URL. So no servers are involved at all. I gotta be back on my face. And I can take this data URL, uh, which we're going to close this so that you don't see the data URL. And basically, I can make a browser source that just uses that data URL. Uh, and now I have my own custom emote wall. So now if you spam emotes. Uh, theory. Yeah, now you can spam emotes. Um, so I, I made my own emote wall that, that doesn't suck. And supports the animated emotes too, because the OBS one doesn't support the animated one. But pretty cool, huh? <clears throat> Pan Food Guy has received a sub from Anonymous. Thank you, Anonymous, for the gift sub. Appreciate it. And welcome to sub to him, Pet Food Guy. But yeah, I made my own emote wall thing. Not chaotic enough. I mean, I wanted it to be subtle, not overwhelming. You know, but yeah, I could do whatever I want. Make them bigger and stay longer. Swifty Spiffy, oh, with the fancy staff badge. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Uh oh, chat. <laughs> Twitch staff found that you were spamming. They've come for us. <laughs> Uh, welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, in theory, I could make it. I could make it do anything. I have the power. Run. <laughs> no, we get, we get, we get Twitch staff in here all the time. It's, it's normal. The white background, though. Oh yeah. So the thing about the 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 chat overlay is, it's intended that uh, you would use the CSS to style it however you want. Oh, style editor. So for instance, you would do, I don't know, background. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love how when you break the CSS, it like animates into it. So if you just like type wat here and then click off of it. Oh wait, wat with a colon. <laughs> this is the default styling, which actually doesn't look that bad. Uh, but if we did like HTML color, white and then background 
Uh, dark blue, dark blue. Oh, no, that's dark red. RGB. Oh, duh. But yeah, then you can you can customize it to whatever you want. Um, so that's 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 the idea there. But yeah, and for 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 debugging, it's just white background. Uh, but yeah, the blue looks nice. Yeah, it's basically what I what I do here. This is what we're replacing. Uh, the red looked better. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> I mean, it can be whatever it wants to be. Oh God, why is it gray? What 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 happened there? Backgrounds. R G B. Color white. I mean, it can be anything. We could even be Microsoft Blue, one e seven seventy three. Why do I have that memorized? Good question. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it can be it can be whatever we want it to be. What about the dark green? What does that look like? Ooh. Anyway, I like blue, so yeah. Swifty Spiffy. Has received a gift sub from Drunk Time Lord. Thank you, Drunk Time Lord. Appreciate that. I like the fading colors. Yeah, we should just make it disco mode so it just like constantly changes. That wouldn't be distracting at all. <laughs> um, but anyway, we did uh, we did fix the bug there now. Yeah, a marquee. <laughs> Yeah, it could be marquee. Uh, oops. Why did I type get status as my commit message? What? I wanted to amend. I'm gonna get distracted. <clears throat> Needs to be a gradual gradient from Microsoft Blue to Dark Blue. Mm -hmm. point reward to change it? Maybe. It could happen. That's possible. But. We need to fix the thing that's broken first. <laughs> I got distracted. Y'all y'all distracted me. Which is fine. Um but anyway. Okay, so we need to fix input required and not supplied token. How is this supposed to work? <clears throat> oh, ambivalent bunny knows Swifty Spiffy. Cool, cool. Nice. You'd also need to be able to disable the channel point reward when the view isn't shown. Well, they would just waste their points, and that's their problem, right? Is there a redeem for a chat theme? And there's one for my editor. Uh, but not for not not yet. Oh, GH token. Ah, <sighs> uh, oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, let's print. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. All right, I gotta log into my other GitHub account. Uh, dead snakes issues bot password manager. Please don't show my phone number, GitHub. You know I don't. I don't trust. I don't trust. I've got trust issues. Oh, yep. Well, it didn't show my phone number, but it showed part of, part of it because I haven't switched over to Authenticator yet. Oh no, you could see my keyboard. Uh, oh, well, I typed it wrong, so it didn't even matter. Okay, so I never remember how to get to this page, so I usually get to the page by going to all repos and then typing settings tab and then clicking this link. That's how I get to access tokens. And then I go and remove this from the URL bar, and then we get to this. Woo, okay. Swifty Spivvy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Um, ba -ba. <laughs> Abby says you don't follow me, no one loves me. <laughs> the Python build did not break, this one doesn't count. Mm -hmm. Why would your donkey be in pain? Wouldn't she like to know? The question was, will the build succeed? Yeah, any infra failure is is uh, is is valid here. Linear gradient, gradient CSS is weird. Linear gradient, top left, dark, dark blue. 
Oh. Yeah. I think it's because they wanted to make it support all the different things. Okay, so... I have to click this button and regenerate it, I think. Uh, which means I gotta go to all the repos and update them. That's such And I gotta do that while you guys can't see it. <laughs> <'Cause>... <sighs> because, uh, yeah. So please hold while I do the things. Uh, oh, I gotta update all the other ones too. Shit. That's such a pain in the ass. Secrets, actions, new secrets, BH token. I wish I could use org secrets, but I don't think they're available for public repos. I think I have to have a paid account, which is annoying. Oh, shit. I have to... Um, <sighs> There's a whole bunch of other secrets that I have to do as well for GPG tokens, and I have no idea where they came from. Oh. oh, what a pain in the ass. Uh, if I was smart, I saved it in my password manager. Maybe it's in there. Well, let's be real. I wouldn't have thought that far ahead, right? Okay. Okay, I think we can go back to computer again. Um don't think I need this browser window anymore, so if I have to log in again, I'll just log in again. So now I gotta find out where the GPG token is. And then I have to do the same thing again. It's not there. It's secure note maybe. Nope. <laughs> Oh, uh, where did this GPG key come from? I'm pretty sure it's a base 64 dump of some key. <laughs> I also don't know. <sighs> can't you copy the GitHub token from another repo? No, you can't read it. You can only write secrets. Otherwise, someone could, someone with settings access could just scoop your uh, tokens. So I have to, I have to find the actual original values. Anthony doesn't trust us. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't I don't really trust you with, with access to my GitHub tokens. <laughs> you can set secrets on the org level. Can you do that if it's a public repo? I don't think you can. I think org secrets are a paid feature. Secret secrets. New org secret. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Oh. I thought these were a paid feature. All right, well, thank you for that. Uh, who said that? Who said that? Who can I thank? On Nightly. Yo. Spire of the Dragon, thank you for the resub with Prime. Uh, oh, you watched my project setup video. Cool. Well, yeah, pre commit is pretty, pretty satisfying, isn't it? Pretty satisfying. Secrets on GitHub token? Yeah, but I need to be able to make pushes and uh, something else. Wait, why do I do? Wait, you're right. Why do I do this? Does this predate the... I mean, I, I I definitely need to do this. Um, But I wonder if I can just use the automatic token here. Hmm. That's a good point. It is probably pre-GitHub token. Oh... So... That one I can probably do. These ones I need to, uh, these ones I need to regenerate. Okay, but we're gonna try that with 312, and if it works, I'll do it with the other ones. Um, yeah. Uh, but let's set these up first. Uh, where is this? 
Dead Snakes GBG.tar might be what I want. Might be what I want. Uh, the Kadep token paste should show the comment on the key. Maybe that helps find it. Uh, mm, uh, I don't know. Hey, what's up, Wholesome Thought? Hello, hello. Do you guys stop working right when it's five? Yeah, usually. <laughs> Okay, I think this is what I want. R dash XF media SF Ubuntu for this. We should have pub and sec. That looks right. Uh, <laughs> base sixty four dash D. You're gonna look at my face for a sec while I try and remember how to do this. Man, base 64. What's dash D? Decode. Okay, so if I base 64 this to X clip cell C, in theory, GPG public. GPG public. Repository access selected repos. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Nightly, 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 nightly. Nightly. Oh, well, we don't need these old ones. 9, 10, 11, 12. You guys can't see this. This is fine. Go. So, hang on. Hang on for just a sec. Four repos. GPG public. Okay. Sounds good. And then we need GPG secret. Is that what I call it? GPG secret. I know, I know. I, you'll have to look at my face for a sec. I sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> uh. One, two, three, four. Yep. Great. Uh. Okay. Uh, copy something else to my clipboard, and back to the back to the programming. Uh, Jules Box Hero, hello, hello, good to see you again. Welcome back. We got two staff in chat today. <clears throat> it's Jules Box, it is indeed. OMG oh, more staff, yeah. No, Milky wasn't here. Hey, he's gonna get banned today. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all shame Swifty together. Boo. <laughs> Wait. Who's, who's, what do, what, what do they work on, Juice? What do they work on, Juice? Handsome streamer is handsome. Thanks, Sun Panda. <clears throat> Juice is the better staffer. Let's hiss him. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. I don't, know, I don't, oh, the, the chat list says they're still here. But. Okay, so in theory, these are org secrets now. And in theory, we can use, instead of GH token, we can use GitHub token. Which would be great. Uh, that would simplify our directions a bunch. Uh -huh -huh. Use GitHub token instead. All right, we're gonna run another channel point. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do another bet chat on whether the builds will succeed. Also, Juice, did you see my overlay? Did you see my 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 overlay that I did? Also, um, my emote wall thing that I did. This is not the OBS one. <clears throat> This is going to be an overlay. It's not done yet. Um, but, um, wow. That, God damn it, Juice. Okay, fine. You are, you are unenthused. I get it. Okay. Wow. Wow, good job. Wait, Juice, can you have five badges? Wait, Juice, predict. I want to see with five badges. Wait, you can get six badges. Wait, predict and use the new accessibility badges. I want to see you with six badges. 
Do it. Yes. Wait, yes? Do it. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> I think that's the only way to get six pandas, right? Staff, prediction. Oh, you missed the prediction. Shit. Well, if the build fails, we'll do another one. <clears throat> I've been thirsty. I love your stream. Oh no. Why is my phone building? Oh, realtor. Which means it's important. Nope. Uh. Oh. Stupid push notification. Accessibility eats my turbo. Oh. I see. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. It would have been cool to see six badges, though. <laughs> okay, so let's see if it got past update this time. It's doing something. Uh, she's a mon, so I don't think she can predict. Yeah, she can. Um. She can predict because uh, you she just can't resolve the prediction if she does a predict. So otherwise, you could game the system. Yeah. Hey, what's up, rollers? Hello, hello. Please work, please work. <laughs> How many points did you bet, Abby? Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's supposed to feel that way. Remote rejected. Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember this now. I remember this now. This is, this is why. This is why we have a separate user. Yep. I remember now. Can't use GitHub token unless I can set the workflow permission. Where is that link that you sent me? If I can set workflows right, I can use it, but I'm pretty sure that permission's not allowed. Workflows, yeah, workflows not not allowed in here. Um, so annoying because I don't actually run the workflows, but it is a required permission. Granting additional permission. You need tokens that aren't available. You can create a personal access token. Yeah. <laughs> if you need those permissions, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> ah, this means I need to do, an do another private window login bullshit thing again. Bear with me while I do this again. Dead snakes issues bot. Dead snakes issues bot. Copy and paste. Auth token. Dumb? Yeah, I know, right? But at least I remembered it. Well, I remembered it after it failed. <laughs> uh, also, I have a mod. Juice, can you uh, resolve the prediction for me? Um. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, Nick McPhee, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. At least you can set it at org level. Yeah, it's true. This is a no-show. Oh, you're in a meeting? Oh, I see. I see. Anthony needs pats. You always need pats. Everyone, everyone always needs pats. Regenerate. Regen never. I know, GitHub. Okay, you get to look at, you get to look at my face again. It did not succeed. No, it failed. It did not succeed, which is why we're fucking around with stuff again. Uh, do secrets, actions, new org secrets, GH token, paste, and selected repos. One, two, three, four. Oop. Okay, got again, and I can show you this again. 
and the rich get richer. <laughs> uh, you have no idea how to resolve this? All right, I'll do it then. Oh, she figured it out. She figured it out. <laughs> All right, well, we're about to do another prediction. Surely this time it will succeed, right? All right, Juice. Now, now you got to predict so you can get those that sick five badge flex. I figured out I am smart. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you have to predict in chat, Juice. You can't leave us yet. No, we don't get to see the glorious five badges. But now she won't be able to resolve. Yeah, I'll just read. Yo! Look at all those badges. Wow. Man, it must be so cool to be staff. <laughs> Look at all them badges. Yeah. Also, you have the you have the the the, the final badge, the fancy badge. Um, so many badges to do activities with, yeah. <laughs> Wait, why did you lose all hope, Abby? What happened? Oh, you lost all hope in success? Are you not, are you not betting now? How is the ordering of the badges determined? I don't know. Fortunately, you can check the code, right? <laughs> you had two coffee chat dough shows? What? I feel like every time I'm in your stream, there's like... 10 people that are like, Juice, when are you doing more coffee chats? And then they just don't fucking show up. Like, <laughs> the audacity. Yeah, Swifty Spiffy, wish you, bet you wish you had this many badges. Wait, why do you have, oh, because they didn't predict. <laughs> yeah, because they're not a mod. That would, that would do it. Isn't the mod badge kind of redundant because you're staff, Juice? Don't you don't you have abusive powers? <laughs> How do you have five? I thought there was code that specifically prevented that. Seems to work. Alright, so we can close these tabs and we can watch whether this is green or is it fucking red already? No way. What? Did not read username. What the hell? Uh, uh what? Well, this, <laughs> this error message makes no sense. I thought this was going to work, chat, so I would have lost points here, too, but... Twitter is a monster? Yeah. <clears throat> We're only supposed to mod ourselves in emergencies? Yeah, it makes sense. I want to be Swifty Spiffy when I grow up. <laughs> Zach, XT says, which one of you fine gents leaked the source code? <laughs> So I'm going where I'm grabbing a snack before I have to stream. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, there's boxes of the royalty now. Listen, all of you peasants, we'll never make it. Yeah. All right, we'll uh, choose the prediction. I don't know what this error message is, though. Uh, setting up off. The exit code 128. Well, time to Google the error message. I think I know what the problem is. Uh, wow, there's no results. It probably, I'm going to predict that we have to upgrade to check out V3. That's probably what this is going to tell us, right? Uh, 
Magically, it's working. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Uh, this person's missing two curly braces. That's their problem. But, uh, the fuck? We need a username. Straight. Am I worth replaying it? Seems like it might have just been an issue with GitHub. Token mismatch? Let me make sure that the team has access to repo. Also, we're just going to close a bunch of tabs. They obviously weren't important, so they're gone now. <laughs> so, dead snakes, teams. What does this do? This allows admin on that repo? Why do you need admin? That doesn't sound right. I'm not gonna fuck with it though. We're gonna leave that one. I don't think that's right though. Would it need that? Oh, I know why. Uh, I think I can delete this now. I think I can delete that. Mm. Yeah, these are all right. And the secrets are all set up. Should I click retry and see if it happens? Are you missing two curly races? I don't think so. This is the one that's failing. I think. Yeah. Safe directory, initializing repo. In it, get in it, that, yeah. Add remote, sure. Lurk code, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Setting up auth. It can be local name only. Git regex core.sh command. What? What the fuck is this shit? So they add auth basic star. What repo is it trying to clone here? 312 nightly, yeah. Weird. Very weird. I'm gonna click retry. <sighs> Insanity is repeating an action and expecting a different output. I'm gonna have to stop voting yes. <laughs> you lost 6k points? Holy shit. Do you trust GitHub Infra? I'm not really. Oh, I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I forgot to undo the shit that we did earlier. I gotta go in here and delete this. This 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 secret overrides an organization secret. Derp. <laughs> it was me all along. Duh. My bad. I'm sorry, believers. I fucked ya. Uh, I gotta go to sleep. Good night, chat. By the time I wake up, and they should have figured it out. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping by, Abby. And have have a good sleep. I'll see you around in the future. Do 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 three nine. Look at the delete button.
Delete, delete. And I don't think we have to do anything for 3.8 because it's archived. You can apparently remove stuff while it's archived. Cool, good to know. I, <laughs> it is now read only. Press X to doubt. But I'm gonna delete these here, just vanity sake. I don't think there's a 3.6, that's far back. Okay, well, I think it's gonna work again. <laughs> do we wanna, do we wanna gamble chat? <laughs> I think the rerun will succeed this time. Um, Ace, why do you just say x x x x x x x? What are the, what are what are the x's for? What do, what, do, what do you know that I don't know? Also, I bet auto update day is ready. Go oh, fancy craft time. Uh, auto update. Yay! Look at the shark fin. Look at the GitHub uh, dependent bot spike. Okay, fairly normal. We're still not completely, we don't completely understand what this shark spike is. But we don't see any of the flat lines that we saw last week. We fixed those. No flattened shark fin today? Yeah, we don't, we fixed, we fixed the annoying bug from, from last week. Uh, so that's good. You're doubting? Oh, you're pressing X. Oh, I understand. I understand. I make that joke all the time. I love that joke. It's such a dumb joke, but I love it. Uh, let's take a look at metrics. That's our one minute. Oh, we get to scroll up now. Yeah, so this average queue time being high is only affecting one user, and that's intentional. So we did look into that. We found that out, so it's fine. This orange one. Repair error. Hmm. This might have actually blocked somebody. Seems pretty fine. Uh, this red line at the bottom is a uh, rendering glitch in AWS. There's only two events here, and it brings it into a line for dumb reasons. Uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing that... Uh, <laughs> Like the average prepare duration is almost always like seconds. I mean, that looks good. Uh, let's make sure there's nothing in dead letter. Oh, and now that the predictions happen, I can click button. Click at a button, rerun. All yobs, yeah, sure. I'm regretting voting yes already. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> rendering glitch, more like rendering feature, yeah, yeah. I bought a new fridge that has a built-in drink shelf. What does that mean? Refrigerator. I love refrigerators. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Is it like this thing? I don't, I don't know. What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What is this thing? Because I'm just getting vending machines, which is not what I'm looking for. Like a drawer? Yeah, send, send a link. Send a link. So I can understand. Teach me the ways. Okay, SQS. Do we have any dead letter? We shouldn't, because I didn't get paged. Good. No dead letter. Nice, 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 nice. And total runs, what are we up to? We were just under 700,000 last week, if I remember correctly. Oh. <laughs> we're getting about 20,000 runs a week. That's a lot. Do you see the middle drawer? Is this going to dox you? Kind of. <laughs> oh, there's... What? You can press a button that says this middle drawer is full of drink and it chills it perfectly. That's pretty wild. Uh, this is this is actually Juice's house, chat. I've been there before. I've been inside the house. That's kind of cool. It's like a freezer drawer, but for drink.
But my but the problem is what is it I can't really tell. Is it tall enough to have bottles in there? Is it tall enough to have bottles or do you have to lay the bottles down? Don't tell chat you've been inside. Uh oh. Yeah, that does sound a little uh a little uh Yeah. You have to lay them down. Hmm. But cans probably work, right? Bottles laid down? Yeah. Okay. Not the worst. So it's it's I I like it. I was not sure initially, but I, I like it. I approve. Probably fits eight ounce cans. Probably fits the twelve ounce ones, fine. Ooh. Cause this is like about that tallish. Juice loves the eight ounce cans, it's true. <laughs> because <laughs> here's the thing about here's the thing about juice chat. Uh if she gets if she gets her her her, her diet soda, her diet pop, and it's a twelve ounce can, she will drink approximately nine ounces of it and leave a little bit in the bottom. <laughs> and leave those all around the house. <laughs> But if but if she has the eight ounce cans, she'll drink the whole thing. <laughs> oh, does this count, chat? I feel like this shouldn't count. I feel like this shouldn't count. You mean all around your house? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I feel like this shouldn't count. Also, this didn't actually build because it was up to date. I feel like this shouldn't count, chat. I I think we should declare the prediction dead. Because it did succeed, but it also didn't succeed. Uh, don't build 312 for Bionic. It will EOL for launch. It failed successfully. Mm. Oh, you're going to go stream? Have fun, have fun. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cancel this prediction. Uh, prediction delete. Delete and return points. Okay, you all get your points back. Uh, the problem is we have to wait until Python changes something to actually validate whether it works or not. So some core dev needs to merge something. Like like this this patch. Get merge. <laughs> Creative spelling. Um I'm actually pretty happy that both issues and pull requests are on GitHub now. Because now you can actually like scroll through the recent stuff and see like interesting things in here. Where it was whereas it was so hard to find them before in um in uh blah 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 in the old bpo um but like you can be like what is this unit test mock missing adders class when slots is false and they show a screenshot of a notebook Wait, auto spec yeah but anyway you can scroll through stuff which is kind of nice Oh, this this feels like a this feels like a Granger issue. Uh, keyboard interrupt and gather always. That just seems like something that 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 Granger loves to deal with. Why did I even try to build Bionic? Because uh, I did it dumb. I did a dumb in my matrix. I didn't update the matrix because I yeah. So we look at this. I accidentally had this in the matrix. I had to purge it. <clears throat> Thank you for the babies back. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, but I did it because I was I I did it dumb. Um, but yeah, sometimes I don't know. When people find this interesting content, sometimes I just scroll through these and I'm like, oh, I wonder what this one's about. I mean, I don't care about UDP. No. Uh, but like, non-Pythonic behavior for tell and seek. 
They are non-portable, non-pythonic, and can lead to undefined behavior, Star. There's no way this is getting changed, but... <laughs> But sometimes I scroll through these. Fun. I do it too, but it's also to find something to work on. Oh, I mostly just find it to be like, <laughs> look at this funny thing. Or look at this new feature. Or, oh god, what is this idea that's going to end up being in here? But I'm not going to do that today. Because uh, you guys don't care. <laughs> Okay. Wait, failing? Oh wait, maybe these are... Did something get built? Oh no, it's still doing the setup. This takes forever. Installing dev scripts because it's a big, big, big package. I could probably make it use Docker images and it would be faster. Oh, that was the other thing that I wanted to do. Is, uh, figure out why I needed admin for the user here and i think it's because of these package pushes uh ghcr token github token that should be the built-in token i don't think i need this anymore i think i can remove admin from this why did i have it before uh da, 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 da. how did this work before uh yeah i think i can just get rid of it we're gonna delete it and see what happens teams no teams 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 run books owners i think i can delete you I understand, yes. I still need this to do write on the... Do you use pre-commit blazingly fast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if only I could build pythons as a side effect of... Uh... <laughs> as a side effect of running pre-commit, and it was just as fast. I don't... I don't think that's quite gonna work, but um Okay, so this is green now, but we don't actually know if it works because it didn't actually well we can force it to work, I think. Mm. No, I should have based it on an old upstream. That would have been the smart thing to do. Oh well. Um uh, we'll just we'll just pray, I guess. I don't think prayer actually makes code work, though. <laughs> Imagine if it did, though. Okay. Uh, add tokens to add org secrets to repo. So let's just double check these settings. Create repository, add org secrets to repos. Yes. Add the nightly team. No. Add uh, repo. So something of this. Copy the ream day from a previous one, adjust the version, create the upstream branch, create the tag, create each branch, delete the non alpha zero tags, push all the things. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Document process for creating new nightly repo. And it'll be even easier next time because we did org secrets and I won't have to do the nonsense. It is great. Sorry, just saving the Dead Snacks logo so I don't lose it. Um, <laughs> I know it looks like I just deleted it, but I put it into a folder where I keep these things. Um, cool. Uh... Yeah, I don't really have anything else that I wanted to do tonight. 
Uh, and I'm going to go build that old Python. So <laughs> I'm going to do that off stream because it involves SSHing to a host that uh, uh, I don't want you guys to watch me SSH to the host. Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll just put it that way. I have the most secure password. I didn't set the password. Uh, but the funny, the actual crazy thing about SSHing to this host is it doesn't support uh, modern private key cryptography stuff. Uh, so you have to use an old version of Ubuntu <laughs> to SSH with SHA-1. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's super broken. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to wrap up for today. Uh, this has been a good stream. We got a bunch of stuff done. Uh, and... Yeah, I'm going to go hack on that project because that sounds fun. Uh, but let me do my little spiel. My name is Anthony. I upload educational content to my YouTube channel three times a week at youtube.com slash Uh Yep, three educational weeks, uh, three educational videos a week. Uh, today's was about variadic generics, which I don't know if that's super interesting, but maybe check it out. Uh, there will be a real cool video on Friday. I guess I can give you a little... Sneak peek at. Uh, Wednesday's video is kind of lame. Um, but this is Friday's video. Oh, stop. 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 Where's my fucking pause button? Stop it. There we go. Uh, but we're going to be talking about what's new in Python 3.11. So it's a really fucking long video. <laughs> so I'm sorry and you're welcome. <laughs> But that'll be a thing. Uh, I normally stream... Oh, actually, if you missed any part of the stream, you can catch those on my VODs channel. Uh, I normally stream Monday evenings and Saturday at noon, but sometimes I stream other days. And I announce those in two places. One of those is twitter.com slash codewithanthony. And oh god, what dumb thing did I say on Twitter? Why do I have seven notifications? Uh, where I talk about what I'm going to do. And then we do it. We actually did both of these things today. I also announce on the Discord, which you're free to join and come hang out with us. Colander, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, thank you all for stopping by. Let's go find someone to raid. <laughs>